to the 5 Day 5 Report with APN and Bishop. Catch us each and every Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. on 100.9 WXIR, where we elevate the conversation on the Rochester community with go getters from around the town. What's up, y'all? What's up? Welcome back. <laughs> right. I feel, like, uh, I feel like Mace right now. <laughs> um, How long has it been since we've been oh, here? Oh, it's been like three weeks. Four uh, weeks? No, it's been like about a month. I feel like it's been about a month. It's been about what? Four months for me? Wait, when did you come been that long? What it been? You came what, July? It's only September, July? man? Man, listen. <laughs> Time flies, man. <laughs> I guess. Um, so, what you been up to? Oh, uh, what I've been doing. Me or him? I'm talking to Bishop because me oh. and Bishop ain't seen each other. So. Go ahead, Bishop. I'm going to talk about how my co host. Denies me. She don't she text me. She don't call me. She, she don't, don't do nothing. nothing. That, oh man! But she. This is the same person who was complaining how I ignore her. You see how I get you? Know? <laughs> don't tell me what I. I'm no. Sorry. Okay. Didn't I redeem myself? What did I text you yesterday? I told hey, you. What she text you, bro? That I've been off. I admitted to being off, and that we were going to move forward. I had some guests lined up. Like I think I redeemed myself yesterday. Oh, she redeemed herself. That and and what you say? That don't count as an apology, first of all. You said sorry? <laughs> Did that warrant an apology? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're going we to move on. This season two. Season two. We're going to move on. Season two, episode one. Season Number two. Number one, though? Oh, man. You know, I feel the first in the shoot, man. Oh, man. I feel good. So, Last episode, I was like, what, 150? No, because mm -hmm. we started. When did we start? April? Yeah, yeah we started April. It was so. probably about it was 20 something. Probably twenty something. I can date that. No, you're not. not <laughs> Top thirty. Definitely not twenty something. But we're happy to have you. Can you tell people who you are for those that may not remember, or may have not tuned into that show? Um, Taj Kiner. I'm the CEO and founder of Alpha Security. All right, and today you wanted to do a recap of your event. Tell us when the event was, and you know, it, let us know what happened. The event was August thirty first at Madison. Uh, at the football field where we had a back to school event for the kids where we gave out about 600 book bags, free food. Um, DJ Littles was on the one and two. That's what's up. Um, we had over like 20 plus black owned businesses on the flyer and we had a flag football game against RPD. All right, and why did you want to have that flag football game? I forgot, what was the premise behind it? The, the bridge, the gap between the community and the police department. And how do you think that turns out? Like, that, how that, did how was it received by the community? It was actually I, I got a lot of a lot of thank yous for that. Um, the the video explains it all. It was it went about almost six thousand views in like three weeks. Okay. It was dope, man. It, it was one of the greatest accomplishments that I ever did. Okay, and how did the community? What was the feedback that you received from like the people saying, "Oh, you brought the." RPD out. They asked me how did I get them to come out. Okay. I, they asked. That's what. How, how you get the police get out? To come? I said. <laughs> I said, man, all you gotta do is ask. You know, majority of them would like to help the community. You know, some was like, I don't mind a flag football game. I'm, I'm down. Okay. And so, who was instrumental in making the event a success? Who do you want to shout out? Uh, especially. Uh, Kyron and uh, Astro Films for that dope video. Yeah, that video was that, dope. You saw the video? I saw the, pieces of that. You gotta watch. It's a, it's a whole video for like 15 minutes long. Okay, I'm going to take a look um, at it. Khadijah, Mark Holmes, Melvin Council, Quarterman, Tim Brooks, Eddie Jackson, Khadijah, um, Byra, uh, my brother Golden Boy, um, and basically the whole community. Swan, shout out to Swan for letting me have it there. What was their, I, I, I didn't ask you this the first time you was here. What was their reaction when you said, I want to have a flat football game with the police department here? <laughs> what, was, they, what, what was their initial reaction? <laughs> they was like, Jamon, Jamon has actually let me the one to, to do that. He was like, where? A, a flat football game? I said, yeah, you know, it's, it's always something about basketball going on. Always. So I was like, let me do something different. Mm -hmm. And he was like, they gonna smoke y'all. I'm like, nah, man. 
know, you know who you, Yo, we do you this. You all know hope. Yo. You know, it's so crazy. People on my security team ain't giving me no hope. Not even the community. Because they figure the police officers are in shape because they're police officers. But you know they only have to take that being exam one shape, time. Being in shape don't mean being nothing. Being in shape and being athletic. Listen, first off, everybody mm -hmm. on this football team is from the club. It's from the from the club. Oh, I know. We Most of the people who are athletes over there. Julius probably was the only one that was like, you know. Yeah, he oh. did to the top shape. <laughs> yeah. But Shout out to that, Julius, man. And it's so crazy is that him and Marcus was, wasn't was there for that. Okay. They asked me, they was like, yo, what you got going on? I said, I got a flag football game against RPD. They was like, where? I want to play. I'm like, all right, and I'm down two people. They're like, I'll be back. I'm going to go get my cleats. I'm like, all right. Oh, word. <laughs> so, what do you think went well? The um, what went well is that everybody got along, mm -hmm. especially with the community and RPD being in one area. There was no arguing, no fights, no nothing. No drama. No drama. I think they were scared. You got police. Who, who you got, scared? You got police on site. You ain't gonna act up with police on site already. Some people don't care. You know. <laughs> Kind of like 80% of these 90 babies and 2,000 babies don't care. That's true, that's true. <laughs> they, they act wherever. <laughs> they don't care. They always ready. So what would you do differently next year? What I do differently? Oh, so that? wait, hold on. Before I say that, is this going to be a yearly event? Oh, yeah, they want to make it an annual thing. Who is they? The police department. Okay, that's what's up. So what do you think will be different next year? Oh, next year is going to be, it's going to be even bigger and better. I mean, it's going to be a movie. Okay. Can you it's gonna give us be, some insight? What do you want? Is, this is what I'm going to give you. Just know it's going to be a halftime show, and I got an all-females team. Okay. And oh, all, so and you... And the all-females team is going to be a problem. Well, I mean, it would be it's only right if they played against all-female police officers. That's what right? they're going to play okay. against. They're going to smoke big boots. Listen. I'm, 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 I'm going to lose. This is a spoiler alert. Like, I'm the defensive coach for the female And that's team. the whole fact. And how did I get, even know about this? Get I, I've been, or anything? Then I've been posting it. I've been well, posting it. In her, defense, been in her defense, you've been she, in my head. She bounced off of Facebook. Look, right. You know, females go through their little stages she where they leave social out. media. And I've been posting it for the longest. <laughs> well, I didn't see it, I don't think. But I wouldn't do it, though. I'm sorry. Why not? Why? Because that's not me. I'll be there, of course, to support, but as far as playing football, no. Listen, she's too girly, man. Not Listen, she, she don't want to the, break the nails. The female ball. team's going to be a problem. No, I believe it. Who, anybody, I don't know. You got Brittany B is the captain. I don't know No, Brittany she's the coach. My bad. She's the head coach. My bad, Brittany. She does the, um. She do the, the end of sports thing. Yeah, the podcast. All right. Bishop is the def uh, defensive coordinator. Boo! Pick six is all day. You got, Already. You got Love Floyd on there. You have... Shamar? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you got Lex King. You got Jennifer Lee. You have Aaliyah. You have Tanisha. You have... Oh, man. You Sound got, like you got a good... You, you know, listen, good I can't... Honestly, I can't remember. There's so many. I just know they're just going to be a problem. I know that for a they fact. They're score 70 points. I'm calling it now. They run, you're out. Y'all heard run. Bishop say, listen, they, the ladies, most team will score 70. Listen, 70 points. 70. Who, who else on there? Easy points. We got, we got, oh, we got Faith on there. Faith. Faith Phelps. Um, we have uh, on, Goon on there. Uh, we have. I don't know uh, these people. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so out of the We got uh, who else on there, man? I can't, I, I can't I think. The, I don't know the team by heart. How many people do you have? It's on twelve. It's twelve team? females. It's twelve females. Oh. It's a it's a seven oh seven flag football with five subs. Okay. They gonna be proud, but this Mel's game, oh, 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 that that's definitely gonna be proud. I, I'm I'm just saying, RPD gonna lose all night long. Wait. They losing all night long. Okay, so what was the final score of the game? Well, in the video you see it says 35, I think, to 21. Mm -hmm. But on our scoreboard that we had on the field, it was 42 to 14. <laughs> so it don't matter, they still lost. Okay, and like from start to finish, were you guys pretty much consistent with dominating? Oh, just from the jump. From the jump, the, the chemistry was like, it was like, oh my God. 
we never seen y'all click like that. Never that fast. I said, listen, you don't understand who you have on this stove. But you didn't have like no. <laughs> and it's so crazy that we were short people. We were short like one or two people. They had they even they had a, they had the kids out there filling in for them, mm -hmm. and they had a whole ten people. Okay, that's what's up. And I remember, did you score the first touchdown? Yes, I did. Uh, shout out to Boone for that. Melvin Council for that first touchdown pass. Boone was a trash quarterback. His form is terrible, bro. But, I saw his video. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but listen, but listen, though. He made sure you got that ball, though. And, and it was on point. The passes was on point. They was on point. I don't know much about football, but I guess I'll take a look at the video. Where can people find the video? Uh, I've been sharing it since Kyron posted it. Every hundred views I share. Okay, so we'll tell people where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Taj Kiner. That's I've been posting it on Instagram. I posted a little bit on Instagram uh, on my business page, Alpha Security 2019, and my original page, Taj the Original underscore Kiner. And if you follow us, You'd also see um, his IG handle on our page. So what's next for you? What's next? Uh, what I got lined up is November. Me and my team, we're going to uh, feed the homeless. Uh, we're working on that. That's in the projects. Um, I'm just waiting to get back from the Boys and Girls Club because we're going to do a basketball thing next where we're going to hand out winter coats, hats, and gloves. Okay. And uh, we're going to play against RPD once again and the fire department. Oh, so Who can motivate going to play the uh, fire department? Oh, so it's going to be basketball this time. Right. Okay. You want the basketball? No. I'm no. Not a, what, you, what you into? <laughs> I'm not a sports kind of girl. Like, if my dude was watching it, I'm going to pretend like I like it. Uh, don't pretend. Like, we don't need no pretenders thing. right now. But, like... No, we, I'm not a sports girl. I'm not. Like, my dad coached flag football for the scene. He's been coaching flag, flag football, like, all of my life. Have you life. been to one game? Yes, of course. I've been to my um, father's game. First of all, don't disrespect Pot. Coach Pot coached real football. Mm -hmm. He don't coach no flag football. He's No, when I was growing up, he was flagged and it's semi-pro. Oh, I thought you were talking about when he was in the sting, he was um, all flat. I'm like, whoa, 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 disrespect. <laughs> no. Uncle Pop. All my life, <laughs> he has been coaching and playing and all that. So, you know, I grew up around football and I like the mm -hmm. Bills because my dad's a Bills fan. Uh, but, you know. That's feeling yourself right now. That's terrible. That's what, wait, right we'll now. be 3 0. Trash. 3 and 1 by Sunday. Wait, what? You heard it. Well, we always I don't like I don't like the Patriots because we created their dynasty by the tuck rule, but uh yeah, y'all gonna be three one though. I got money on that game. I haven't been watching the games, but you know you see all the hoopla on Facebook or whatever. So if you just tuning in, you tune in to five eight five report with ATN the Bishop, one hundred point nine WXIR. Well we have Taj in the building talking about his event, recapping what went well, what's going on next. And yeah, that's what we doing. So feeding the homeless. Right. Oh Coats no. for girl um kids. What yeah. else? I got a uh a meeting with the chief of police next Thursday. We're gonna talk about a few things. Okay. That I would love to talk about. Okay. Talk Between about the community and uh police department. Like more events. How more events and the how can we come together as a, a whole community to actually get along where you don't see people being afraid of the police department or don't be afraid of the community. Because I see a lot of people talk about it, hmm. but won't do nothing to, to either get that progress and uh, I mean that process into a motion. And what made you, like why is, why is this your passion? Why are you passionate about bridging a gap between police and community? You know, I have a sister, you know, you have kids, the bishop have kids. Our kids need to grow up in a city where we feel safe. We don't need to uh, be afraid of the police. They here to uh, protect and serve, right? Yeah, I don't ever. A lot of people don't like, feel safe. I don't. A lot, especially what happened at the uh, at the East game. What happened yeah, at the East that, game? That was crazy. That was crazy. It was. I want to say it was like one kid got jumped by like seven people, seven eight people. And then yesterday, I seen a video where. Um, 
with, with the 13 year old boy, boy. Yeah, and, I, I and the cops was too. being aggressive and the mom said they were they wasn't here for him he ain't got nothing to do with that situation and they you know they still did what they did i don't i don't condone in that that was a local situation yeah sure. Uh, uh, apparently, yeah. what happened was police officers called for a disturbance on the bus. Uh -huh. They happened to pull up to the bus stop that the kid was getting off at. A random kid was getting off at, and they, from the video I saw, they just started grabbing, like they slammed the they, they That's a thirteen-year-old boy. And they, off a school bus. They with slammed a book the dad. The dad ain't had nothing to do with it. Him and his wife was there to pick up their son. Wow. And, and the mother was pregnant, and they was pushing the mother like she. Like, I was like, "Whoa!" That was right. Like they, and they were like, "You can film them." So, like, I don't care. Like, oh, and but, 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 my, but my thing is the the first student and the city of Rochester, you know, the Monroe County whatever school bus company, they got troubleshooters. I could have called them uh -huh. to get the kids off the bus because trust me, I worked on the bus. Yeah, why are we calling RPD for bus situations? Was it, it has to be like something nope. that was. No, the video didn't show what happened on the bus. It just showed the 13-year-old kid getting arrested and slammed. And from there on. Was there ever a statement that was issued? Of course. They... Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, I shared the video and I got, I got mad. I completely like turned my phone off. Ain't like nobody put it on. And I saw some, it was a couple, act, they, the mother posted it, and there was a couple activists, I forgot their name, they was under the post. And I, I seen, seen, I They seen tagged everybody, everybody in the city. The like mayor, you, from the mayor on down. Every city council member, like, if you uh, was in a voted position in the city, they tagged you in this position. They, they tagged yeah. you. In, so it's like, you can't say you didn't see this. Mm. They tagged and, uh, like that, everybody. That video from... From when I shared it until I looked when I came here, it was, that was already like at six thousand views already. Wow! And that's less than that was like twenty four hours. Yeah, this is all news to me. I haven't seen the video or even heard so, of the situation. So you know, we gonna we gonna talk about that situation and, and more things where we can agree to address each other, you know, properly and not come on the scene and escalate things. Right, and you know, and hold everybody. You know, in a situation accountable. You know where I think that come from? Why pop police escalate things so often? I don't. Uh, hold on. I don't think some of the police don't even live in the city. No, that's what I was about to say. Like, yeah, look, if you go to people, like, if you go, stuff. if you go to like men in Pittsburgh, Victor, mm -hmm. Penfield, all that, to be a police officer or a volunteer firefighter in that town, you have to live there. Right. This, the city of Rochester, to be a firefighter, you have to live in the city. Mm -hmm. But to be a police officer, you can be from anywhere. Like they just. Throwing badges out like they on Oprah. <laughs> you get a badge. You get a badge. <laughs> so, so, you know, for real. And, and, and that's why one of the things where I want to talk about and we could, you know, come to an agreement where everybody can come come together as one instead of fearing people. Because, you know, some people that don't, some of the cops that don't live in the city, they don't, they don't know how to address people that lives in the city. Have you ever thought about, like, cultivating a group of... Yeah, uh, actually, I, I want to... I'm gonna sit down and talk to the chief and see can we set up a meeting where where we all the community and the police department. Oh my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just you know, I'm just so into it. It's it's something that I really wanna do. No, you are setting up a meeting that the police would have. So we can uh, have a meeting where every so everybody can ask questions. How can like a forum? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be uh a Definitely a good idea. Do they even have those? I know they have them for like city council and like the school board and stuff yeah, like but that, but just do, like regular towns hall meetings. Are we gonna make one? I don't know. I don't know. I think it'll be definitely beneficial because people could instead of complaining on Facebook, they can actually complain. But to the you people. know, and, and that's that's the big thing right there. Just like the school board and all these other town halls that they have. You got pe people don't complain on Facebook, social media all day, but when those actual town halls come in, they sure. don't be here. That's, but uh, on Facebook, I'm going to let you know how I feel, but I'm not going to come directly address it to who needs to hear it the most. Yeah, I think somebody who came on here, I can't remember who it was, or it might have been you, that said when people write a post and they post it on social media, they take that as them taking a stance or them doing yeah, something. Yeah, that However, it's lip service until there's action behind it. It's the it's the internet movement. Every you can <laughs> you can say listen, 
this I've I've, I've always been a strong uh, person. This strong thought, black uh, man that don't cheat. I, I, that either. You know, you know I don't cheat. I'm actually writing the show to be age one. What's up? I'm, Black I'm men don't cheat. Rock I'm Chester. <laughs> but that's. But, can you stop? But that's. But that's can what? you stop? No, can you stop? Like, can y'all stop with this whole look movement? Out, what? Like, look if out. I didn't know y'all, then I could like. Look out for what? black men don't cheat. Rochester probably coming out fall 2020. Who knows when BH1 will air? But they gonna eat that up. Like who you even? Who would you even put on the show? My fellow black men that don't cheat. I'm right. Listen. Like who else is on that movement? I think it's wasn't it BM Brad? Wasn't he saying that? Brad. 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 We gonna we gonna we gonna go, go put the person that started this on there. Who was it? Uh, what's his Roger name? Roger Jones. I don't know. <laughs> Listen. I don't know. Listen to this. Listen. But he sounded like a cheater. Uh, right no, name like Roger. No, come on now. My, my <laughs> man. What do you do for a living? Because mean? I saw. What do you mean he would do for a living? No, because yeah. I saw. What do you do for a living? Like ain't got nothing to do with. He's a promoter or a trainer. Okay, now, come on. I'm going to give you the back story. So, <laughs> they said they all cheated. During the baby and the little baby concert, uh, what's her name? Ari. Ari. Mm. Uh, she was the host. Oh, that's so, the dude that had his hand on the wall? Yeah. Yo. That's, not, not, yeah. that's respect. No, no, no. He's serious because I think I went up just to say hi to him and he like... He's was, like, who are you? He was just like... He's oh. scared of his girlfriend. <laughs> I'm still out Roger, what up, bro? <laughs> but uh, it's like a whole movement on like social media, like Instagram. It's like... They, he got a following mm -hmm. that he Yo. didn't know about and they tagged him in a post I on see Instagram. That. I've seen, I seen that. And it's like, yo, it's like really hundreds of thousands of people eating this up. That, and you know, I, I, I support Man. it. One, he's from Rochester. Two, he's my friend. I don't call out for my friends, but he's my friend. And three, he's a black man that don't cheat. How can you not support that? Shout out to Little Duval for that movement, too. No, no, no. Well, I believe, no, for him, I believe, because, like, I've interacted, well, not even interacted, it was just like a, like a curve, and I was just like, yo, what up? And it was just like. He's terrible. He's terrified. <laughs> yo, we need more people. I'm not terrified, but that, like, Damn. you know, respect. I, re I respect my boy for that. Because, yeah. Right. That's a lot of people that's out here. No, but back to what I was saying. Yep, yep. <laughs> Let's bring it back. That's you okay. pitching. That people, uh, people, I guess when you can type something from your phone where you don't have to move nowhere, mm -hmm. you like you got semi-famous people or whatever they want to call these other right as where you can post anything and you get a hundred comments, three hundred mm -hmm. shares, and all this other stuff. Right. So they feel like that's doing something when it's really not. Because all, even though you posted it and all these people saw it, you're still not doing nothing behind it. Yeah, like every time, I, every time something happens in the city, the community gets an outrage. They take it to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, post, 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 post. But when it's time to actually put the footwork in, nobody's there. They don't want to put. They don't want to get in the mud. Yeah. So that's where I come in at. Well, and, that's, and that's perfect. That's why I feel like I gotta call people out for their you know shenanigans. <laughs> You know, and that's exactly what it is. It's shenanigans. <laughs> you know, it definitely some, is. It, it's some people that want to be, you know, that want to get their name out there just to be social media famous. Mm -hmm. Well, th that seems to be the wave these days, but that's neither here nor there. Like, people, you know, do anything for that one viral video or whatever. Yeah, so. All right. Is. So let's move on to some current events in Rochester. So have you guys heard about the... First, they said it was a deficit of the school district to yeah, the like sum of fifty million dollars. I, yeah, I believe it. I, I believe it too. I believe it. Fifty million dollars. I'm gonna tell you why. Because some some of these teachers go to actually go to work just to get the check. But what does that have to do with deficit? And then you know, then you got the the superintendent. You know, they like to steal money, so. Wait, we can't just be saying stuff like that on this show. I'm just, I'm just being no, honest. No, he's no, he's not stealing money. I'm just, I'm the past. He's was, like a couple months. The new months person is always. The first he's person. always going to no, get. No, 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 guys, I'm no, not, no. I'm not, I'm not speaking nothing bad on him. I work for the district. Not, me, I work I'm in not, the district, I'm and I plan on working I'm for the speak, district. Listen, I'm not listening. <laughs> I'm not speaking nothing bad on what he's doing, but if it, if fifty million in debt. Now, the, the real deficit comes from the state, the, I guess, uh, 
I remember Dr. Brock was, when he was on, he was telling us about how uh, Rochester receives the most in funding in New York State. The most what? We, we received the most in funding wow. from the state of New York for our education department because we're so far behind mm -hmm. the rest of the state. But I think most of that funding goes to waste and abuse because we we put programs in place, but we're not actually going through with the programs. Right. Like like they, they we got like probably twenty to twenty five programs for youth in a school district in the school district that we we got the money for the kids, but we don't have the kids for the program. Right, because you're targeting the same kids. So now we got we're spending all this money, and, and the state's looking for like, okay, where's our results? Where's our numbers? We we they shouldn't make a program where they know kids ain't gonna come. Well, you have to look at it. all kids these days. It's nothing but technology. They they not gonna come to nothing. Well, that's not true because I work for programs like that. So let's let's, let's stick to the facts. We're not just gonna say crazy stuff. All right, okay. so fifty million dollars is what they said initially, but it's actually more around thirty million dollars. So the um, superintendent he was talking a little bit about it, mm -hmm. um, and he said that it was caused by, possibly caused by retirement benefits, substitute teachers, transportation costs, and charter tuition. So those were some reasons for the deficit. Do you believe those are the reasons? I don't know. Like I don't know enough. I believe, to make an assessment of the situation. I, I believe transportation, transportation is true. Right. Because retirement? When the, when the school district took that contract with RTS, I think that was a bad move. You think they should have stayed with first? They should have stayed with first. I mean, you got all these... All these kids being you, at the transportation. Because people don't realize, people think RTS is a city bus route. RTS is a privatized company. Mm -hmm. Like, the dude who owns RTS, that's a private company. That's mm -hmm. why... The police don't get involved with RTS matters because it's a private company. And you that RTS contract, even when Edison and Wilson first started taking RTS buses, that contract was ridiculous. Yeah, listen. Like that contract was like, yo, it was paying RTS like seven million a school year for two schools. Mm. And now you gotta think about how every school is using RTS buses now, but then you got first student who's doing the exact same thing. At a cheaper, don't don't get me wrong. All bus drivers should get paid, right. but everybody should get first paid. through the bus drivers, and then you got RTS bus drivers. That pay difference is is huge. Like it's it's not well. Not, not, I, know, I know a few bus drivers. They get paid like twenty something dollars. Wait, what bus? For first student. First Oh, I don't. Yeah, you got you know you got, don't get me wrong. You got some bus drivers that's out there eating. They, I'm <laughs> they eating. Yeah, but our bus drivers they're not full time. Most of them are like part time because yeah, they come in the morning. And, you know, like split, 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 split shift. shift. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's the. So they were saying it's basically too early to discuss where the cuts gonna be made because there has to be cuts made. To make up that thirty million dollars. So what deficit. they gonna cut? I want to know what they. But they saying it's too early. So Superintendent um, Day, he did say he was committed to doing whatever he could to protect staff, faculty, and classroom, um, you know, classrooms during the process. So, you know, he doesn't want to make those difficult cuts, but we know those cuts are going to have to come from somewhere. But how can you make cuts if you don't have nothing to cut? And how could you make, how could you justify making cuts when we're already in like such a difficult, such a challenging, such a not ideal place? You know, I, I know where the cuts gonna come. They gonna start cutting school sports programs. No, they can't. That's, that's, can't the, that's the, that's the, they, can't, they can't do that. Look at, look at the history of any school district. When this time, a lot, of, a lot of kids is not gonna come to school. But, but they, they don't look at that. Think they about look, the only that reason. Numbers. That's what I'm saying. That some kids actually keep their head above water. Like, they not even, like, some of them, like, okay, say for instance, my son, he plays soccer. Uh -huh. He um, goes to school in Webster. If he gets below a certain thing, a certain grade in one of his classes, like, He's it's like tears. Like, you got to get extra help, you got to do this, you got to do that. They send letters home, they so send it's, emails. So it's like a probation. Yeah, so you got to, but these kids can play in these sport teams with Fs. Oh, yeah, time yeah. change. Yeah. Now, listen, that, that, same, happened, that happened when I was in middle school, and I know a few people that was in high school that didn't go to class. Still the classes right the on these teams. No, Section no, 5 finals. Listen, no lie. 
I'm not proud to say this. When I got expelled from Marshall, my sophomore year, I was going. This one they had night school. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, night school, it, it it like I was playing baseball at the same time. So I'll never forget it. I'm gonna say his name because he. I don't care. <laughs> Joe Mundo at the time. Oh, yeah. He was the principal of Marshall, but he, was the, he used to be the football coach before that. And then he said, let's make a deal. If you play baseball, I'll make sure you pass your night school classes. <laughs> Yo, wow. If I'm lying, God can strike me. Wow. You can ask my mom. I was kicked out of day school. I woke up, did nothing all day. <laughs> oh, I went wow. to Marshall every day at 2.30 for baseball practice or a baseball game. Never attending night school. All right. Since we on that, that's no a, lie. How y'all feel about the uh, what is it? The, the kid, what is it? McGee from from uh, East, the running back. Oh, that's messed up. But it, I, well, it's kind of Can messed you up. Tell but it's the not story? Because I don't know the story. Seven. What seven. happened? The kid seven. He he was really from Rochester, and he's like the number two ranked high school running back in the nation. Mm -hmm. He left Rochester and he moved out to California to be in the prep school, you know, to get him ready for it. He already committed, he got a scholarship offer from Oregon, Oregon, Oregon University. He decided, before he even to play football, he was there for five or six months. He came back to Rochester because that school was under investigation and in the shams. He never touched the football field. Nothing. All he did was go there, go to school. He came back to Rochester and New York State is saying that he's ineligible to play sports because that he's, school he went he's to technically under. back into you transfer back into the city school district. Now, the reason why he's ineligible is messed up, but I understand where they're coming from. The school is under investigation, like the athletic department, like they in some big trouble with the state of California. It's a transfer form that they need, an athletic form that they need from that school so he can be eligible in New York State. Unfortunately, if that school is under investigation, so they can't transfer. They down. can't transfer anything. Wow. Like their whole athletic department has been shut down. They can't transfer anything. So New York State ruled that he's ineligible because he they he don't have that one form releasing him. Which is messed up, but it's politics in school. Oh. It's politics everywhere. And I think I think it's cool because I mean He can't play a whole year. What is he is sophomore this year. No, he's a junior this year, right? Yeah, he's a junior this year. You're the number two running back. Top two running back in the nation, and you can't play your junior year. That's crazy. Is there anything he can do? Just he like he can't do nothing. They appealed it, everything. Like they took it to the highest person. And they took it. They took it to the New York State Commissioner. Court. They took it. They, and they it's, it's just, I understand. It's, 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 it's an unfortunate situation. But if they change that out for him, they're gonna have to ch start changing the whole stuff. You're gonna have people just transfer from schools to play sports. Which I, I feel like, you kid, we're not getting paid for this. Mm -hmm. I should be able to go to whatever school I want to. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. But that's the times we live in, like, everything's politically correct now, man. Yeah. So if you just tuned in, we have Taj here of sure. Alpha Security. Discussing what well, we discussed his event and what's going on next for him. Now we're talking about some current events. Anything else current you guys want to talk about? Uh, this fashion show. I had a just security at this fashion show this weekend. Urban Fashion Week. Oh. I heard about that. I've seen Which? it. Um, Latrice Brown, uh, Vintage Junkie. She, that's her name on Instagram. I believe it's her event. She's putting it together. I'm working all weekend, so I won't be able to attend, but it looks like it's going to be definitely. It's, it's going to be fun. You know, this, this will be my, I think my third fashion show. Mm -hmm. I'll do security at. Okay. What kind of fashion show is this? It's, it's going to be, it's just urban, period. You got, you got Nate that he going to do um, wedding, like wedding uh, bridesmaid tuxes. You got, I want to say a couple uh, clothing lines is gonna be there. Mm -hmm. You got Khadija, uh, mine gonna be there. That's all I know. Okay. Yeah, I've seen some promotion about it. I hope it turns it's, it's out. It's gonna well. be. It's gonna be good. It's at Village Gate. If you don't got no tickets, go get your tickets now. I need to get in the fashion show. <laughs> hey, yo, they need to have a fashion show for beards. For beards? Yeah. Yeah. 
You know who should do something like that? Monique Chapman because she has the um uh, the the men's people. lounge. What is it called? The groom room. I've never been there. Mm-hmm. Isn't it called the groom room? Yeah, it's called the groom room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she should do something like that. That would be dope. Because that's right up her lane. I don't like people touching my face. But listen. You don't have to just do face. You can do feet. You can do I hands. Like I can do my own stuff. <laughs> it's dope in there. Like, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna actually. I'm, I'm gonna go one time. Is it for only men? Yeah, yeah, it is for only men. Um, but she did. She said the girl. There is a girlfriend section. I was like, oh, where? She's a like, girlfriend it's, section. Yeah, section. She said it's out in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait in your car. They have to smoke and shit. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's her man, but she um there is currently I think she does a wine down Wednesday or Woman Crush Wednesday. So wow. where she allows women to come in and like drink wine and watch the man get pampered. Network. No, I think it's just like a woman thing, like the one day that she allows women. On Wednesdays, oh, yeah. and I think it's like I think it's like an evening slot. That's where, dope, though. Yeah, but I've been in there like it's so nice. I gotta go. Ambiance, she get like, massages there. Yup, she I does need, all I that. See, you can get a massage. A massage. I, 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 need, I need a. I need a. I need a massage. I need a manicure and pedicure. You know what's dope? Do that I tried for the first time a few months ago. Oh, the little hot stones. Yo, oh, I love hot stones. <laughs> <laughs> That was my first listen, time trying it. But you had a pedicure? I might have. Man, listen. <laughs> you just said I you did. don't like nobody touching you. I did. It, it was dope, but I want to find some someone that, that actually does their job. What do you mean? Like, you know how some people be sitting in there. I, I, like, I watch some women, like, get their feet rubbed and mm-hmm. all of that. And when it comes to men, them ladies be like, uh, Oh. Let me get you up out of here. Like, like, dang, it's like that? Well, I believe, I believe they'll take care of you at the groom room because it's just for you. Like, it's just I'm tailored going to the around room the where, where I feel appreciated. When I get back in town, I'm going to go check it out. Where are you going? I oh. Gotta, I got to go down to Atlanta tomorrow. Okay. Oh, oh man. Next year. to the booty club. Oh, Lord. I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't listen to me. My yeah. views and opinions are not aligned with WXIR one point nine. They are my own. Well, how long are you staying out there? Just till Sunday. I'm, I'm flying back Sunday. Oh yeah, I forgot. Next year I'm doing a. I got an event coming up with Savon Holt. So look oh. out. Yeah. So look out for that. Savon, my bad. Savon Holt. You don't know who you talking about. What she, my bad. what she do? She um, she got a foundation where. Her company is gonna actually help out the community where they can pay for your back rank, your RG. What? Let me um, get this list together now. And it's something else. I know right now she uh she's working on her website and her business card, but we're gonna do an event together in next October. Okay. I own my house, but how do you what's I, I got you got Don't worry, I I, I I need I need more info. I need to know she paying back our G and that list gonna be so long. But like, uh, how would you qualify? Like I, I don't know, I gotta get more details. Okay. That's Maybe dope. we can bring her on. Yeah, we can uh yeah, we definitely need her. <laughs> yeah, because we have a huge need in our I, community. I let her know. You, you know, know and, and that's why she's doing that, because we have a, a huge need where people is can't pay for their things in the community. And then you know, like the utility bills or just basically a car note, a anything. That's what her foundation is going to do. I saw a statistic, and I can't even remember what it was, but it was definitely crazy the amount of income that people have to have that they spend on rent and what they have left over. Like they barely have, like all of their income goes towards. They're living expenses, like yes, anything you extra. You paid me a lovely warrant for that. I'm just gonna say it. Why? Why her? Because she got rid of the landlord tenant rule. Right. I heard, just heard about that. That was like this past summer. What? You can move more. out. You can move out. Actually, where? So that's why rents are going up because. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's, there's, like, there used to be a time where you had uh, to own property in Rochester or rent it out. You have to live in Rochester. Mm-hmm. Rochester leaves New York State. For our size, we leave the New York State with mo- the most out of town landlords. Okay. These people are paying rent to broker agencies and stuff and third parties. And you got two bedroom houses going for $1,300 a month. 
in a shit in a messed up neighborhood. <laughs> Good that's, catch. Like, <laughs> like for real. And, 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 I, I, I've seen a few. And that's why you got people paying this much money. And the the econ our economic balance is so off in Rochester. It's like. But they keep building these buildings. I think they're trying yeah. to position us yeah. to be something that, like, not, we we building. are yet. Like, okay, I get it. You want to build up the town. You want to make it look nice and attract people to come here. Like, I get that. However, the people that live here. But you can't push people out, though. Yeah, you can't push people out. And like the, the people that live like here can't bar. afford those. Just like the U of R. I'm, the U of R, back, I want to say this about 10 years ago, the U of R was actually buying people houses. They still are. They still are. That's still going on. I'm not selling my house. They said by 2022 or two, 20, January 2023, the University of Rochester will own all of Genesee Street, all of South Plymouth, all of Exchange, all of Mount Hope. So I see the good my, and the bad. My with grandma that. ain't giving up her house, and I tell you that. I see the good and the bad with it because Why? you know that once they own it, it's cleaning up the neighborhood. Why? However, pushing people out and raising rent—I mean, how does that help our people? So, like, I see the good and the bad. Um, I see them, but bad. You no, because they clean up the neighborhoods. Like cleaning you, up what? And them kids be the the most worst. The no, college kids. Most worst. Come on. <laughs> them college kids are terrible. I'm, excuse no, me. No, but they're no. I'm talking about like but them college kids. They they really they do the most littering ever. Think about what goes on at like let's say uh, uh, Hudson Avenue or mm -hmm. like all the people loitering and all that stuff mm -hmm. in front of corner stores okay. and I get what you're saying if you change the area mm -hmm. people won't feel comfortable with it anymore. Right. Now I got a question. Just like you said, the huts and the having clean area where people hang out at and do all of that. Why they mess with them but don't mess with the college kids? No, that's valid. Because the U of R have their own armed security. And then you gotta know like there's I don't I don't care if you go to school or not. You gotta, you gotta think about it. When something happened to those college kids, and they're when, college kids, so they're already like looked at as privileged. You just gotta think about that. I'm gonna give y'all this privilege. Stuff. This privilege stuff need to stop. I'm gonna give you a privilege for college kids right now. I saw it firsthand. I seen when it I too. To, when I ran security at the RTS Transit Center, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, there's two buses that leaves U of R and RIT. Mm -hmm. They bring the college kids downtown, and then they got another bus that they take to Park Ave, East Ave, all the bar districts for free. Yeah. If you drunk anywhere else in the city, and you get on that bus, you got to pay. But like they, got, they got free buses and free transportation that takes them. I've never seen some take you RIT to Park Ave to get drunk, and then we'll drive you back home. Yeah. Well, as the, long as you don't do it on our campus. Those... Ain't those the, the buses with the bees on it? Yeah. And, you know, those kids who attend U of R and RIT, so majority of them have deep pockets. So, you know, they're going to make sure their kids are getting themselves put into situations Until where... you get drunk and cut off Frederick Douglass' head. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, oh, but okay. it's not you funny. You don't know how high to it right now. No, <laughs> what the heck? It does though. It like, has it. Listen, no, no, listen. And they just what was it like a slap on the hand? Yeah, and yeah. They wrote a letter and apologized. Yeah, you got to do an eighty hours of community this, service. Man, this is like a, what? This is like a few weeks ago. My my mom and them live off of South Plymouth. Mm -hmm. It's a college house that's on the, I want to say, in the middle of Plymouth. They, they had a little they little house party. Okay. This kid, this Caucasian kid, mm -hmm. ran down the street. He was streaking. Oh, how nice. Streaking. <laughs> and it was, it was about three or four of them, bro. And the police just rolled right by. Mm. Well, we already know, like... <laughs> Uh, certain we are that's something that we already know we know how it goes we know how it goes but it's a lot of events coming up as far as like you know like five all blacks i've never been to all black you haven't i've never i, I never went to i never went to all black <laughs> 
Never went to an all black or an all white. I never. So I think I only went to one day party in my whole entire life. You know what? I and, I, and I was in BBB. I've been meaning to tell Jazz I'm mad at the all black of the day party. Uh, Listen, uh, I, I I am <laughs> over three in day parties. Like I get way too lit. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> But the thing about it is I like day parties because, like, I'm getting to the point where I'm getting older. You get and tired fast? Time, I get tired. <laughs> by, by 9 o'clock, she in bed. That's what she said. 10, 11. No, I, I got something from this year for black, all black, bro. I got something for I never was going crazy. Yeah, but this year is October 13th. And it is a day party, 5 to 10. Um, they're having it at the King Billiards. The, um, the pool place. Yeah. Dope spot. That spot is dope. Listen, that's, uh, I, was one, I was one of the first. Dope, dope spot. I was man. one of the first people to take a, a picture in that chair. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the honest truth. The honest truth. That, that, I like that spot. <laughs> yeah, it was spot. nice for color. <laughs> Colors, colors was. I ain't make colors. I know you tried to get me to come. Colors in. was so dope. Like I left early because I'm old, but it was so dope. It was a lot of the people there. The girls start kicking in. Yeah, I just like go there, you know, mix and mingle, and then I'm out. But I, I don't know. I'm gonna make an attempt to maybe next year. Why not this year? I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> um, that should be a good time. What else we got coming up? Um, well, we got that uh. Couple people's man, if y'all need security for these events, y'all hit me up. Alpha Security, y'all can inbox me at Taj Kiner on Facebook, Instagram, Alpha Security 2019. I don't have the name. The Upstate New York is sponsored by Rochester Pawn Brokers. Um, the Upstate New York MC thing where they're doing the what is that? California Brew House, yeah, the thing at the California Brew House. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me, I got the info right here. Okay, what, what is, is it, a party? I think it's like a rap, they got, like, a rap people, battle. You got people performing. It's uh, the first annual Upstate New York Rap Championship Showcase. This is the second round. It originally was supposed to be on the 29th, but they changed it to the 28th, which is a Saturday. Which is Saturday, yeah. That's but, October? Um, yeah, you got a lot of uh, local talent, talent from Buffalo, and not basically Upstate New York, and the winner, they like, Win diamond earrings, money. Um, they go on to a showcase down south. It's like it's a huge event for mm-hmm. what they put it together. And the good thing is, it's all local talent. That's what's up. I've actually heard a couple of the artists. Mm-hmm. I was actually surprised. Oh, hey, <laughs> you know? maybe we can bring a couple people on the show. Yeah, I don't go that far. Why not? <laughs> we gonna bring them on the show. If you're kind of nice, that means you're kind of trash too. No, I mean, man. you know who is a fifty-fifty boy? We do got. I, it's, it's no, in all honesty though, it is some good talent out there. Mm-hmm. It's a couple Christian rappers. That, yeah. And you know how hard it is to rap without cursing these days. And the song, and it's, uh, <laughs> you know, you know who. Yo, I, the first person I ever heard curse without, you know what I'm saying, rap without curse was Lil D. Well. Mm. Me too. Well, he's D-Well. actually dope. Well, yeah, some, some, not for like, y'all yeah, ain't listen to Will Smith. Will Smith, nah. damn. He doesn't curse in his raps. When we were Will coming Smith. up, Will Smith did not curse. Only, in the only, hot, listen to the him. only hottest track Will Smith got is Summertime. Not like getting jiggy with it. Bruh. Getting jiggy with it. You ain't say nothing, 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 nothing. Bruh, so you had on your little shiny jacket and all that? First of all, I grew up a pe- I grew up a Puff Daddy fan. Same. All my all my suits were shiny growing. <laughs> mm-hmm. All I need is my windbreaker outfit, my headband, my one leg up, and my fillers. One leg up. <laughs> you ain't wear your sweatpants one leg up? Oh, I was on 90s party. Somebody did have their one pants leg up and a little black in their ear. I was like, okay. I won't go that far, man. <laughs> Black, they, they took it a little extreme. <laughs> so what, what else we got coming up? Um, there's also a comedy show called um, Friday. Friday the Comedy Show. That's that Photo that. City that Improv. I think I really want to go to that. What is that? Um, it's the 18th of October. Is that the one with Funk? And, uh... I think Yolanda Smiles. What's his name? Um, Joel James. And it could be some. I think Flip English is on the flyer as well. I'm sorry. Um, but it's a 7 and it's a 10 p.m. show, so that's that looks, I want to go to that. That's something that I would do. And then I'm Dynamic, I saw him at Seafood Monday, and he's like, you coming to my party? And I'm like, 
Hey, um, you, when Seafood Monday. Seafood Monday and privacy. What's, what's, what's privacy? Two six nine. I've been there so long. So on Mondays, like they have seafood, and I love seafood. So I be down there drinking mad wine, Merlot, and eating seafood, eating crab legs. Merlot. No, Merlot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he. I Yo, see I gotta him. get out more, man. Come to seafood Monday. So I saw him um down there, and he's like coming to my party, and I was like, when is it? And he's like, oh, it's the fifth. I mean. Um, it's 10 to 2, and it's his birthday extravaganza. So I might slide through. I'm trying to get dynamic and do next year event. Yeah, he need to go. He definitely need to go. As I'm telling you, that event going to be crazy. I'm going to invite you to details. I'll still be here. I should, nah, I'm like, I, I bet you I'll be around. I'm going to be too far. You're going to be around for this, I'm telling you. Mm. Well, I got to be here anyway. So what, what's, what's up here. with, can I get the live broadcast there? Yeah, you know what happened this time. Like, I asked about it well in advance. You know, I'm a person who plans, plans, plans. And, I mean, things just we, happen. We so, don't that. have it. Um, what was the issue? That it was close to Labor Day and yeah. the station was closed down that day? Yeah. So, Look, that was our I, issue. I want everybody out there that owns a radio station, talk show, whatever, to be a live broadcast for this. Yeah, that would be definitely a good look. Has anybody been to Morgan Syria Bar? Nah, I ain't been there yet. I've heard I'm gonna go use. I'm gonna go there ask if she needs security. No, I'm trying to get her on the show. Um, I didn't go yet. So I went and it was a line outside the door. I heard it. I and heard um it impatient he um impatient. For some so. cereal? So no, I heard um they impatient. Got, they got I heard they got the what is it, infusion Belgian waffle? Cereal infused. Yeah, waffles or you something got the, like you that. Got the, you got the, the waffle with the, what is the ice cream on top? I think it is. I saw pictures, but I haven't what's been the there. What's cereal on it? What's, the, what's her hours? Um, I think it's like breakfast hours, and then on the weekends, she, do, she like split shifts, like breakfast, and then she opens up at night. I'm not sure. So does but, she serve cereal at night? But, yeah, yeah. Dope. Yeah. I don't know, does she got it's, some almond milk, though? Yeah, she, got, she has. She yeah, has she, that. She has, uh, I did. I did read that about it. She has like. Um, she has. Like every time you, can you had in, to. You can put water in your cereal if, if you want to. I remember I did that. We had no milk. Ew. I never felt that struggle. Yeah. Man. That's gross. I'll, I'll eat the cereal you know, dry before I put listen, water in my cereal. Listen, we had a little bit of milk. And I was like, we ain't got no more milk. No, uh, if, if you got a little bit of milk, you can throw some water in it. That, that, nah. It, it, the milk was like this, bro. Hey, the, the milk ain't do nothing. No, I'm not. My mom was like, you better put some water on that. I'm like, listen, nah, I said, but I was like, man, she like, you gonna go to the store? I'm like, man, I ain't about to go to no store. No. I'll never forget. Growing up, you only drink bread top, the whole milk. <laughs> oh. Listen, I'm gonna tell you why, though. Because yeah. when, when you drink a whole milk, when you get like a quarter of the bottle, gallon left, you fill up like half of that with water and it turns into two percent milk. <laughs> this is all new to me. That's the, me on but that's the abs that's the truth. Listen. All two percent milk is more water. water. So we only had the purple top. Yo, listen. See, I was scared milk. Listen, oh. was, was, no, that's two percent. What? Skin milk is one percent. No, the blue top is skin milk. Yeah. Yeah, I did the purple top from Wegmans. Like I hate I hate the red. What was it? Purple, the blue. No nah, man. Oh, you know what's no, crazy? I don't milk? drink milk, and I don't even allow my kids to drink it. I never, oh. I never, my slow self. I never realized the difference in milk growing up, because at home we only drink red milk. In school, I only drink green milk. Talking about little curtains. Yeah. I never like I correlated I the did. two yeah, from home and school. <laughs> you know, you, because was, different places in my family like had different types of milk, so that's the only reason why. Yo, remember your mom used to send you to your daycare or your aunt house early in the morning with the water bottle full of milk? No. Mm -mm. Never. No. Never. Oh my gosh, man. I'm really from the show. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Listen. So I did, um, even though I didn't make it to Morgan's, I didn't wind up going to French Quarter, and I want to give them a Yo, shout out because. That be so good. Oh my God. What you ate? So they have a buffet on Sundays. What? Um, yeah. So they have a buffet on Sundays, and I had, what is it? Um, 
what is it? Crawfish. Crawfish. I never had Grits. It. it had the rice and what is it? Etouffee. Yeah. Soup. Yeah, what but it was uh, so good though. Etouffee. Yeah, she was telling but me what it was. Every time I go there, I get the the catfish fillet. Always get the catfish. With the shrimp half and half mm -hmm. and the sweet potato casserole. Oh, they had that, but I didn't oh. get any of the sweet potato casserole. Because yeah, I had a waffle, uh, one of the Belgian waffles, and they had like the caramel and banana foster over it. Uh, that was so good. And then I had some mimosas. Like, I was lit. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just me and my son, and I'm just talking because when I be tipsy, I be talking. And he's just looking at me like. Because <laughs> he's not really a talker, so. I felt he just like he was just liking the way you eat. Yeah, he was he was all in. But no, I, I like I like French Quarter. They they they, they catfish is the best. Right, in the city. yo, I, I have I never mean, been there. That was my first. I think that was my first time going there. Every time, because gotta, before I would go there and it wouldn't be open or something like that. But yeah, they, they they open. They, they, they hours is weird. Now. Yeah, so when I went there because Morgan's had a line, I was. Very impressed. The food was amazing. The service was good, and my mimosas was hitting. So I was happy. <laughs> my mimosas was hitting. Yes. They hit different, huh? Great. <laughs> I won't even say on the air why they hit different, but they was hitting different. Yeah, my mimosas was hitting. <laughs> oh, I was like, all right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys for coming on. Joining us on the time we have for today. I want to thank you, Tosh, for coming on, joining no us as we hop into season two. Bishop, we got to get season two right for the people, you know? Yeah. Season two is definitely going to be dope. Uh, yeah. We got some amazing hosts coming on, some guests. And hopefully we will be live. Rashida told us. She told us, like, the security system will be done in a month. And the following month, we will be live. I'm a system. You should tell her that. No, she ain't yeah, gonna pay know, nobody to be here. We're talking about the digital system, man. <laughs> this, this is the digital. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully we'll be live. And once we be live, it'll go down even more. So just check us out. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We got Snapchat. Just follow us. Keep up with us. And we'll see you next Sunday, 6 to 7 p.m. on 100.9 WXIR.